we're going to look at how to set up the student view of the gradebook. Now I have a student right here, Euclid the student. The left window is the gradebook that we've seen before. The right window is what that student is going to see. So they should be similar. Now, if we scroll over, we can see that there's homework 1.1, homework 2, and homework 3. Euclid the student sees homework 1.1, but not the other two. So let's go ahead and see why that's happening. So I have the course here. This is that same course. There's week one is where homework 1.1 lives. And you can see quiz 1.1 is visible. Week two is where homework two lives. Because week two is hidden, homework two is not going to show up in the student gradebook. So it's easy to fix that. We're just going to show section. Refresh the grade view. Refresh the grade view. Oh, individual assignments are hidden. Show. Show. I have to do the same thing down here. So if we refresh this, you see homework 1.1, homework 2, and then I'll show homework 3. And then refresh, you'll see homework 3 show up. This can happen with any assignment you have that's hidden. It just won't show up in the gradebook. Now, I didn't make a mention of this, but the homework total didn't change. So even though these two scores were invisible, they still contributed to the homework total. So that's how the grades look for students. Now, if you want to change that look, you can do that. It's over in course, we saw gradebook setup, what that does. Now we're gonna look at course grade settings. Aggregation position is first, meaning that you'll see the total above the assignments. Uh, you can look at more of the details here, but the grade item settings, this is what they'll see. So they're gonna see the percentage and the letter right there. You can of course change that to something else if you want. I like the default. Uh, you can reduce decimal places if you want or increase them. You can show the rank if you really want to. Be careful, it's the rank in the class. Um, you can hide the totals if they contain hidden items. So if I would have hidden items, let's see, show rank, percentage, we have that. Show grade, we have that. Show feedback, here we go. So the feedback that was given, you'll see it right here. I didn't write very extensive feedback. If you write five sentences, it'll take up quite a bit of room here. So it'll show up right here. And just make sure you hit save. Now I better make a change here so we can see something happening. All right, I'm gonna default the show weightings and hit save. Here's an example where maybe that show weighting is not useful. It just adds extra information that may not be that useful for a student right here. They may think that's their grade when their grade's really over here. Um, now the grade and the percentage, maybe that's too much information. So let's go ahead and modify that. The first thing I'm gonna do is take off the show weightings. Uh, show grade, we'll leave the show grade and hide the show percentage. And there we go, you just got grade, uh, the percentage grade and the letter grade and then the feedback. That's in my opinion, a really good amount to show students. So you're not giving them too much information.